Today's video is the very first part in my What Is Coming for Park Right Nice 2017 video series. We've come down to the park today to do a little Fright Nights update. Back of Fort Park for another Fright Nights construction update. Finally, the day that we received the Fright Nights 2017 maze announcement. Welcome to the third Fright Nights construction update, the final Fort Park Fright Nights construction update. It's Fright Nights press event, the Fort Park Fright Nights annual pass event, my final Fright Nights trip of the year. Today I'm going to start vlogging again. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. So, welcome to the very last Fright Nights 2017 video on this channel. That's quite sad. But today I am joined with the person who's been here through all the construction updates since the beginning this year, Mr. Kieran Adams. As I said, today we are filming our final thoughts, our final reviews for Fright Nights 2017. Yeah, it's going to be emotional. We're going to start off by talking about the overall event this year. In my opinion, the best front nights ever. Well, yeah, ever. That I've been to personally, definitely. Like, I started going in 2012, I think. Um, and yeah, this is 100% been the strongest front nights I've ever been to. So many people will agree with me, I think. I agree. It's, it's been quite insane. They already stuck up. Yeah, like every maze this year has been. Did you just stab? <laughs> I can't be laughing. I've done like over 140 run throughs of attractions this year. Not, not different attractions. That's mad. Just in total. Majority is obviously in that full park, but it is mad. So, yeah, so just saying, we have done like the mazes of four a good 10 plus times each. Not it's 20 times each on some period. So we know what we're talking about when it comes to these mazes. So, Miles Keelan, oh, yeah. don't go. <laughs> but it is just our opinions. So like we're not yeah, this is all our opinions. And based on our run throughs, not like, because you might not agree. Yeah, obviously so every run through is different. Yeah. This is what we've had. We've had enough run throughs, I feel like, to get a good, get a good vibe yeah. for our mazes. My bad and good on everything. Even my favorite maze, I'm still about run through. We're going to start off with one of the new mazes to join the park this year, which is of course Sanctum. We went, in, we went into Fright Nights this year with high, high expectations of Sanctum. It was a highlight of most of the construction updates. Mm -hmm. and we'd film it and it would be like, because it was a new maze obviously. I was just using the old container, so I was so excited. Yeah. I was so excited. In my opinion, it was probably the most disappointing maze this year. I have to say it got better as the event went on. I had some insane run through. Some really good run through. And I also had some like very, very minimalistic, like just walking through in the daytime. There was no actors. That was what they were in there. I thought well, very good really class. good. Very like, good class. Really like, like, especially good Rob at the well. start. Yeah, and like, they, they did good job with like impression. They were good actors. They, they actually good actors. Like and it was it was they kept it to the you know, storyline. To a degree. Well, I think good. the failure of the maze was the design. The design the layout. layout. Not the design, because that sounds like I'm digging, but like the layout. The layout. Think it was, there was a slight lack of audio, I've slight heard a lack lot of, of atmosphere. Things. I've heard a lot that it yeah. was very last minute, like there was other things that were supposed to happen and then sort of <coughs> just sort of threw it, sort of it together. Which it was good. It was like good for like a time. and it was also safe to have a maze over on Swarm Island. I yeah. thought it worked quite well. We were worried that yeah. it might not. Yeah. It was good. So next up we come to a maze that's been at the resort for many, many years now. I think it was in its ninth year at the resort now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been there for a long time, of course, and saw a life. Do you wanna start off with this one? Uh, yeah, sure man. Obviously, if you went for it, the maze hasn't changed this year in regards to the layout or the theme. Which is a shame because you feel like with the new film being released, they could have done something. Could have done something. But the big change, I think, was the cast. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed like this year they were a lot more energetic. And I don't know, like, there was a lot more acting in there. We've I'd say some, this is the best year if I've had it running through some. Yeah, we've had some mad run. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, on like a personal side, like, the actors literally were like, had Jack against the wall, had me up against the wall, 
I had our mate up against the wall. Like, <laughs> put a shout out the yeah, where's the chip? Like, it was mad, <laughs> but like, on like, looking at it, like, in general. Um, my tip has been my favourite year of so. Considering this maze has been there for so long, we all know the layout so well. The fact that we were still being scared in it this year says a lot for the club. Yeah, yeah, like, the fact that they've managed to make it so good this year is, is like such credit to them. I would like it because it was so good this year for it to be its like final run year. Like we had a good last year. Yeah. I mean now we move on, like that'd be great. But I think so. I can't again. see it going. Apart from anything that was hint, maybe not is that 2018 legacy thing. But that's it's such a loose link that I think that Big Top's gone. Big Top is now no more. But yeah, Saw Alive was sick. Um, obviously, as I said, the cast, Amy in there, brilliant as always. Sophie, six months already. Six months already, Callum. Yeah, the Saw cast this year. Man, big up Sophie. Next up, we have got another highly anticipated maze for this year, the Big Top. I still can't go over the shop after coming out of that for the first time this year and finding out that the layout had completely changed like no nah, literally we were told I was, a few things about I was how sure. it was like the same and like we literally went in there like okay they probably got rid of like, the clown watch and literally i went in there and i came out like so confused i don't think i've been so confused coming out of a maze before yeah i was so disorientated you see it in the video like we literally come out we're like it was incredible like the fact that was such a brave move from Fork to alter that maze so much. It's and I think so successful. They pulled it off 100%. They made it even better. That maze is just, it's incredible. Like the actors in there, so much energy. They know what they're doing. When you have a lot of actors in there, it's very, very intense. And for us personally, when we knew some of those actors, they did oh not gosh. hold Literally, we were all. put in a cage. We were locked in that animal cage. Oh. I had my hat stolen. I got put in, got put in the box. Like, my favorite was probably like all the Easter eggs, like the Walking Dead one. The Easter egg Blair Witch so one. Like, the they don't, one. Fork don't need to do that, and yet they've just. So, like, people that would know. It was like, really not like, normal like people that were going that maze just coming for a while, they probably wouldn't understand. But, no. like, but for us enthusiasts, you, know, you, you know, you walk through, see the Blair Witch sign, it's like, hey! And then the three doors, the like, Arc oh, Cabin Woods, like, yeah, it was mad. It was a very good maze. We've had a few hit and miss run throughs, but overall it's been a very, very good maze. But that always amazing. The yeah. only thing that was like, not great about it was once there was the lack of managers, managers but there, so. the energy of the actors. Yeah, man, was so good. Moving on to the next maze, this one. Platform 15. As I said in my press event vlog last year, it was like the worst maze we have ever done in our lives. It was worse than my bad run throughs on Sanctum. It was, it was just awful, but this year, my god, they have put so much work into that maze. It was incredible. And it's funny because literally like a week before, we were like mocking like, oh my god, there's brand new gas yeah, masters. <laughs> and then the like, construction updates, we were like, oh, it's going to be the same. Yeah. We genuinely were thinking like, okay, is this what they've done? The tunnel was the same. We were like, oh, great. But no, they made this <laughs> massive house. <laughs> and this is a universal and it came style. Out of nowhere, it was absolutely like No one even spotted it. Hot, like a piece of that going in. Yeah. Like, that was a complete secret. Like, it was amazing. Like, I we actually, knew less about platform this year than we did like Living Nightmare. Going like the platform came, like it was really busy all the time, so we didn't get to do it too much. So then we didn't we have to do it. It was like I actually really liked the village part. Like, village part like the house is amazing, and then even like little zigzags, which I think is quite like colony. Yeah, was colony still amazing. Tunnies. The only part I could feel like was a bit pointless was the little tunnel, like the little crawl tunnel. Little cool bit. It was a bit like sometimes the finale was a bit off. The but first night, press night, was in so so scary. much smoke in that ending finale. But the one run through that stands out for me on platform, we were the last group of the day. It was our last run through of the year, and we got absolutely destroyed. Like, no, it was crazy. I've never had that many actors around me or like behind me in my life. Literally, like the whole cast came through, no matter where they were standing. Nicole during that run through. It was incredible. Before we go on to the final maze we need to talk about at Fort Park, which is definitely worth sticking around for, we're going to have a little chat about the overall resort, the overall Friday Nights event this year. And yeah, in my opinion, once again, it's been the best in terms of like park wide theming it's ever been. 100%. Uh, I don't think it was enough, but like, 
It's there was so much more. Like, like, every year, like, just really like, years. Every year seems to be more. We had um, Walking Dead theming like all over the park. Yeah. yeah. Park wide audio this year. Yeah, Mad. Amazing. The island theme song, like the haunted, but like the scary yeah, version. I remember yeah. like, amazing. Like, that's my favourite version of the song. Even though the X is great. That is my favourite one. The fact they played the Walking Dead soundtrack as well around the park. So sick. The only weird thing is the fact they're still playing the director, but it does kind of make sense. Yeah, it's like, nice. Just don't Still throw back, don't think too deep about it. It's like some cool, cool. It does make sense. Yeah. Yeah, same. But the one thing, and this is my biggest annoyance about Front Nights this year, and I know Kieran agrees. Oh, yeah. We've been moaning about it every visit we go. Roman actors. Wait, we got Roman actors. <laughs> I'm not, this isn't. And not actors, having a dig at the actors themselves. I know that. A like, few of them are very. I know good. that. People I've seen them in the mazes have been great. I just think they're just like on the broad side, how they've put it across. Like, I don't know. You, it was you never such seen a them. good opportunity this year with it being Walking Dead. They could have had Walkers roaming, they could have had, well, they had the um, Saviors roaming, but and yeah, they probably just, didn't see them. It was basically like just people walking around. Like, they, they looked, looked they like yes. people. They were dressed. They weren't really in interactive, costumes. which I think is like instantly. What's the point in having a romantic? I know that's with the same character, but like interacting yeah. with guests, like pulling them aside. In previous years, we've had the Your Next roaming actors. They favorite. were so good. They like grabbed guests who were just walking around with like machetes. Yeah. But this year, the whole, you had like, last year experiment. Like, it was insane. It was really and they good. interact. They last year they were funny. Like they were like joking about, and like, they would love the camera. Yeah. Whereas this time, they would mainly just come to like, a maze, you'll, talk you'll... to the staff at the maze. Yeah. Then we'll call. You'll, you'll see them at the end. Exit. There's such a lack of them in my footage from Friday nights this year, and that's because it's already in the press book. Really. They haven't played up to the cameras. They haven't even like been around to film them. They are good actors that did it. It's just I've got some sick pictures of like the director and stuff in the past, and like, they had like cool like events, and they would like corner people and scare people. These people wouldn't even talk. No, but like, that's not there. Like, I know that's not the actors. Like they've been briefed or whatever, and they've been told to be a told certain to way, that. but. We I think they should at least have walkers or something. Yeah. My favourite thing, other than the maze this year, was the lighting and the smoke around the park. Oh, yeah. The, the towers with the Big lights. Down incredible. Ones. Like, it, it really added to the park. The smoke machines around the park this year. No, you honestly, that was, that was great. added to the atmosphere so well. It really worked. And now, of course, it's time we come on to the final maze of the video. Walking Dead, living on there. I've got no words. Oh, it's literally incredible. It was my favourite maze of the year at any event in the UK. It doesn't seem to be that popular with you guys, with the public. I don't know. I literally, I can't explain. We've had like... Just, oh, that maze is so sick. We've had like 15 plus run throughs in it. 23. Fucking hell, 23. We've had a lot of run throughs in it and... We've, oh. There are a lot of things, by the way, that I, even though I love it, I think would change. The first being... The dog called W waiting. Yeah, that needs to be changed to Q line, but we've had some Such just out of this world. world. Like every single group we've had a good experience in. Yeah, and the acting in there. Just mad. No, that whole mad part is actually amazing. Not like, this is this year. Scary, very, very scary. Like being yeah. like tickled when you go through that scary. Jammed, like, and, like, getting tickled to the ground. I've been on the floor and Jack's been through like doors. I was, and, I was locked into one of the prison cells. We all got pinned up against the walls and got like made we to scale like a We had a, a wedding pit. ceremony. Yeah. Like there was just, I don't know, that maze literally. Uh, it's every one single of the room few mazes. It's insane. Yeah. It's one of the few mazes I've made an emotional connection and with. Now, where's that sound? I love that maze. In my opinion, that opening Negan scene is incredible. Like, it that's really honestly is. one of my favourite scenes from any maze ever. I think it's so it's sick how you have to go I've and get on your that. knees and like, and then after that you go right back to season one and then you make and the way, you work your way through. through. The only weakness I have is the finale. Yeah. Sometimes I do have a quite a good one. That's only like, why we know the actor, yeah, I feel in my like opinion. I have a theory that the maze is either going to come back permanent or it obviously is going to come back next year. And I feel like, from the bus onward, and just before the bus, there's parts that are going to be terribly changed either next year or for front nights next year, yeah. with season, season eight, eight scenes, season and then eight. it can be the world's first season eight. So, those are our opinions on all the mazes. As you guys can tell, our favourite maze this year, Living Nightmare, 100%. Over on my Twitter, I did a poll, and by far, Big Top won it for you guys. 
as I said, it was a sick maze. Like, well, it was hard to choose. Like, if I didn't, it's like emotional things yeah. you say. Like, we did have. I don't know what it is, but like, I love them all. Like, even Sanctum, I love. It was great. Yeah, Sanctum was still a great maze. Like, it doesn't deserve the shit that it's getting. If you guys enjoyed our reviews, then be sure to head over to my All Good Things Must Come To An End video because loads of you guys left reviews, I've read through all of them. Go give them a read though, they're really interesting, see what other people thought of the event. A lot of you guys liked Jordan Emery, the actor who was sick, he abused us a few times. Yeah. Um, yeah, the cast this year, in my opinion, is what has made five like, this year though. Also, I don't think this is said enough, but like, I like, just thank you to the cops. Yeah, like, they go through yeah. so much, like, The amount of shit, abuse they like, like, are these mates like, from nobody. And so many people, like, just overlook it, and they're just going to make, oh, I'm a sick mate, but like, like These actors are in like, there for 12 hours a day, they fully working their ass and off. Like, like, they make the event. And it was great, like, you all, every, like, if there's anyone watching this and that, like, thank you, you so did a great job. Like, and I know we only, like, shout out a few of you guys, but all of you have been amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, this is the final Front Nights video of the year from myself and Kieran. Thank you so much for all the support you've given on this on this whole Front Night saga that we've done this year. Like, it's blown up. It's been great. It really has, and we've loved it so much. Like the construction updates, we found fun right through to the vlogs of the event, and right through to this video. But as you can tell, we love, we just love Front Nights. And so sick to see that you guys enjoy it as much as us because nice, yeah, we love the videos. It's super fun to make videos. So if you want videos again, let us know. Like we we will be making them next year. Like, regardless. If, if you guys don't want them, we're gonna make them. But, but yeah, basically we love making the videos. I say we, but like Jack makes the videos. I'm just you know like, featuring. Thanks to Jack. If you're gonna thank anyone, just thank Jack for making the videos. <laughs> but either way, just let us know down in the comments though. Anything else you want to see from these Final Nights videos, and obviously, if you want to see them, would you like us to be in the mazes at the next yeah. year? Comment below. Tweet for part next year, and we'll be in the mazes. <laughs> we'll be, we'll be, we'll be scaring you guys. We'll be scaring you guys. But no, I will be 18 next year, so I will be old enough to apply. I am considering it. I don't know. It's an option, so let me know down the comments. Right, just, yeah, this is this is the end. Fright Nights 2017 can finally be put to rest. More year has been. Be sure to go follow Kieran, his links are down below. Obviously, my links are down below as always. So, yeah, this has been Fright Night 2017. Fright Night 2018 will be bigger than ever. I cannot wait. Fright Night 2017. Goodbye.